What's up everyone? I'm the Kaiju no Kami from the Tokun Animation News Network here with another Ninja Turtles unboxing video. Found a whole bunch of stuff at Target the other day. So let's crack these open. Where should I start? I found a couple of these. I've already opened some of them up. But I figured I'd save some for this video. I haven't opened Baxter yet at all. I don't have a second one. So let's start there. And I figured I would lower the camera so that you could see me unboxing the toy instead of just me talking about it as the toy is off screen. Let's put these guys over here. So we've got Baxter Stockman. Kind of cool picture. So far in the Mirage comics where I've read, I've read through the first 22 issues, kind of, there's been a couple issues missing, but it's been the first 22 issues with uh, the first seven Tales issues and Baxter only appeared in the very first issue. I'm a little surprised at that because he seemed like he was a bigger character in all the other iterations. But we've got him. I actually I do like this picture here of him holding his little mouser. That's pretty cool. And he is number 15. Actually, yeah, I'll go in order. Alright. So he's in this packaging here. I always usually prefer to take the accessories out first. I actually forgot to bring scissors with me to cut these open. Whoops. I have my accessory box here. As you can see, Ninja Turtle accessories galore. All right, so we've got a thing. Um, let me hold it like that. Can you see that? Don't know what this is. I'm sure it's from the first issue, I just don't know what. Alternate head and some alternate hands. Let's cut the mouser out. Well, actually, no, I guess I'll cut him. Hmm, the package is strangling him because the the plastic tie is right at the, uh... Ooh, actually, let's use this to put these in there. And I'll just throw that in there since I'll be throwing these boxes out anyway. Let's just cut right here. Kind of funny, as Hasbro's like, oh, we need to shy away from plastic in our packages. Every other company's like, oh, we need to use more plastic in our packages. I mean, Hasbro's windowless packages were a good idea, but they, when you're buying them from an actual store, not so much. If you're buying them online as online exclusive, they totally work because you're not looking at the figure anyway before you open it or before you buy it. Doo -doo -doo. Just need this arm over here for Baxter. I did love in the 2003 uh, Turtle series when Baxter would constantly, every time we saw him, he lost another body part from Shredder. That was pretty awesome. Oh, and I need the mouser. Which is cool, because I've got a mouser with Splinter. And I have another one. I don't remember who I got the other one from, but 
you can never have too many mousers. So, hopefully, maybe they'll do like a mouser pack at some point. For I know they did one for the cartoon a while ago, but maybe they'll do a comic book mouser pack. Chomp, 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 chomp. Articulation. Looking down, legs move. Yep, kind of cool. Actually, they remind me of the, uh, we, we, we just, uh, recently watched the Tremors movie series and the Mousers actually make me think of the, uh, Screechers for the, uh, Wormoids or what, what, Graboids. And then we've got a computer. Too bad he doesn't come with a floppy disk since, you know, back then the world could be conquered with a floppy disk. And then we've got Baxter. Now, they also do have a Kirby from the comics, which if you, and he was in the 2003 series. I don't know if you know who Kirby is, but he's actually based on Jack Kirby. He's a comic book artist that Donatello comes across who has a magical pencil that lets anything he creates become real. All right, let's see. Mm, he sort of has a t rocker in here. Doesn't seem to want to work well. Double jointed knees. Kind of stuck there. Let's see on this one. No, I don't want to force it. I will just heat him up later. I love that they gave him double jointed elbows. That's one thing they NECA seems to be hit or miss on is double jointed elbows. Let's see, except his shirt is getting in the way. There we go. Now, what is the difference between the heads? One is less smiley than the other. Hopefully you can see those. But yes, one head is less smiley than the other. Okay, okay. Sure, sure. Let's get rid of the, oops. All right, let's stick the accessories. Let's put him right there and that right there for the moment. Ooh, those are small pegs. Uh, let's do, ooh, the evil hand. Yes and the finger pointing hand. I'm so evil, pull my finger. If you don't, a mouser will kill you. Or, oh April, I'm going to get rid of you. Since, if you know the comics, April worked for Stockman in the first, in the, well, techn I guess it's actually the second issue, not the first. Why did I say second earlier? Uh, or first earlier, I don't know. But, yes, it's the second issue that Baxter shows up, because the first issue is just the Turtles fighting Shredder. I don't know, I never understood if the comic was meant to be a one-off, just a one single issue, and then it became, it was so popular they decided to just turn into a full series or if it was meant to be a full series because the original comic doesn't even have an issue number on there. It's just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, but that is Baxter Stockman. Shh. 
and his mouser. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. there so I can throw this in the trash later. I will put Baxter in the I'll just stick the mouser in there for safekeeping. Alright, let's see. Baxter was 15, so 17 is the foot soldier. Now those of you who saw my videos last year, I actually had the modern colorization I guess is the way to put it of the foot soldier this is the classic colorization of it because it says classic colors oh and I guess I should show the box off nice headshot there again shots of the toy figures that are also out and a good shot there of just full body All right, I will leave that there again. So we've got plastic trays. Oops. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I recently reading uh, Return to New York. That was a really good three-parter. I actually wish it had been a bit longer. Like, it could have easily been a five-parter. There were parts that I loved it, but there were some pacing parts. So I was like, well, that could have been a bit longer. Or, oh, man, that was it. Okay. Like, I love the Shredder clones, but we never actually learned anything about them or why they exist or anything. They're just, they were just kind of there. And granted, I still want to complete my Shredder clones. I need the Claw Shredder. I will say I was kind of like disappointed that there wasn't any full-on details about these clones. So that was a little bit disappointing. Oh, I never did cut out the accessories first. Oh well. I guess I'm taking the Foot Ninja out first. I said I like to cut the accessories out and then I end up cutting the figures out. So, uh, foot in mouth. All right, this one I have to be careful of because I've got a lot of little easy to lose pieces. Oh, there is a thing there and a little thing there. All right. Come on. Get out. You can do it. There we go. We have a spear. which I will put in here with the other spears and the incorrectly colored foot ninja accessories. All right, other side. All right, we've got a gun. Swords. Ching. Actually, that one I'll keep out. Ugh. Easy to lose ninja stars. Um, let's see. Can you see those? Hopefully. Oh, 
plastic galore. It smells glorious. Some alternate heads. The baseball pitcher head, which I guess I, I actually don't know what the deal is with the pitcher head. I know there was like a couple panels the turtles fought some Foot Clan dudes wearing this, but I still don't know what the purpose of it was. And then a regular Foot Soldier head, if you don't want the one with the bandana. I think they, they vary. I don't know if the bandana one's like a special rink compared to the non-bandana ones. But since the neck on this one isn't loose, because my first one this head comes on very loose, so I didn't bother to use it. I think we're good. All right, let me see before I open up the rest of the accessories. Oh, that seems a bit stuck. I might need to heat that up. To do. All right. Elbow works. That works. Let's see, lower elbow. Come on. Oh, cool. I don't need to heat them up for that. That's twisting without an issue. Come on. There we go. So that elbow works. There is no ab crunch, which I think has been the only biggest complaint I've had on these Foot Ninja is no ab crunch at all. They do rotate, but there's no ab crunch, which is the one thing that pisses me off the most about them. All right, let's see. Double joint and knees. This boot should oh then there's toe articulation oops too high now I'm making it too high toe articulation double jointed knees okay this one turns without an issue but this one Seems to be stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And this is his cloth for his for the robe like i said for that i don't exactly know what the deal is with the robe and the baseball mask but i've already been using two of them because i actually covered two of my modern comic coloring versions in here because i figured you know what i could make use of them i gave one this head and the other one of the regular heads since that's how they looked in the comic there was no exact version but i don't really know what the difference was but i figured hey why not and then we have this uh let's see uh, curious for you guys have you watched the original ninja turtle series at all recently i mean I'm watching it for the first time since the 90s, and I was never a huge fan of it to begin with. But I think it's aged even worse now than it was before. Alright, so we have an accessory tray. We've got a bow. With an actual string on there, which is kind of nice. We have some daggers. One that also has like a spiked bottom. 
We've got a thingy. Oops, it goes in that one. We have another Ninja Star or Shuriken. All right, we've got this sheath for the sword. So I will put this on his back. Maybe. Don't make me take your head off. Okay. Good. Then we have another sheath for the arrows that I'll take out in a moment here. Arrow one, whoops. Arrow two. Arrow three, arrow Flynn. Just kidding. And you can fit three arrows in the quiver. I think that's what it's called actually, quiver. Or was that the, or maybe these are called the arrows or the quivers, whatever. But that. And then there's one lone arrow that goes nowhere except for when he's holding it to shoot. So we've got this big sword. This thingy, which is pretty cool because it's on an actual like chain. So you can do stuff like that, which is cool. A hood for when you have him with his robe. And then he's a handy guy. So we have fists. Open hand Wolverine claws. Closed hand Wolverine claws. And the camera's now focusing. A bow, bow and arrow holding hands based on whichever one you want them to go. Fisted hands and a gun holding hand. Or you can use it as an extra sword holding hand. Oh, wait, do I have that on wrong? Yep. All right, so here are comparisons. Come on. Now, I will say I do like the red eyes on this version because the red eyes really pop, but it's nice to have the true colors of the Foot Ninja from the comics. Now, if they could only give us a shredder that matches. The other odd thing I found with these though, with this version, is how all the weapons were like colored almost the same. They didn't go for realistic coloring, which is kind of sad. And then, let me just have him hold his. I need a lot more of these Foot Ninja. I totally need more of these guys. Can I get this so he can hold the sword in both hands? Kind of. Yes, he can. Awesome. Now I saw one in the comics that actually has two of the sheets, one on each side. So I think my next one, I'm going to not give him the sheath the sword sheath and or uh my next two i'm going to take one of the short sword sheaths and give it to one so they can have two maybe i'll make that one whole shooting bow and arrows but that is the foot ninja but yeah so as i was saying with the 80s cartoon series 
Let me know if you have watched it at all recently and if you still like it. Did you ever like it? Because <laughs> I was never a big fan of it as a kid, but wow, it's worse than I thought. All right, so it's only natural to go with number 19 and my foot ninja just fell, which is the enforcer. Now this dude is big. I'm actually amazed NECA sold him for the same price as the others considering how big he is. But then again, they're selling freaking Lexington for the same price as the other gargoyles despite him being like half the size. Alright, so we have another double tray. This one has a big ass spear in it. Which... Is awesome because spears are cool. I just oh, so many accessories to choose from. It's like oh, on one hand I would love to just have them all wielding the same wielding a spear, but on the other I like having the variety and making use of all of the additional weapons that they come with. First world problems, yo. So many first world problems. All right, let's just cut the body open. The enforcer out first. Come on. Okay, let's see. Nope, that's actually blocked by the accessories. Okay. The hell? There we go. So we've got a triple nunchuck set. You know, it'd be really cool if, at least with Michelangelo, if they had included a nunchuck set that had like the nunchuck, nunchucks already sculpted spinning. That would have been cool. Uh, yeah, I'll just stick those with the foot ninja the regular foot we've got he's also kind of handy small sword big sword all right so we've got karate Oh, I didn't show off the box, did I? Whoopsie. I totally forgot to show off the box. Alright, so we've got karate chopping hands. We have... Thwipping hands, or... He must be a rock... He must love rock and roll. Yeah, and we have gripping hands, which means he has fisted hands. Shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot. Okay, cool. Well, holy crap. Look at all this plastic. I saw someone, a uh, YouTuber, last week make a joke about you could take all the plastic NECA uses and melt it and create your own plastic bags to sell. It's kind of true in that regard. Actually, I'm just going to stick ugh, this in there now. have to deal with it in a moment. I will say I'm actually really impressed with NECA's Ninja Turtles line. Even their animated line is kind of cool looking to the point where I'm like, hmm, if only I had the money and the room to collect the animated line. Uh-oh. This seems to be stuck. Is that bent or is it just the angling? Ah, there we go. Okay. 
Uh, it's a little bit bent. Just why? Ooh, ow. Okay, maybe that is that one elbow piece might be stuck. Let's turn that so it's sideways like that instead of on the bottom side. Okay, so we've got his head, which isn't as loose as the other one I have. He's got your normal shoulders, although they don't rotate far because of the, oh wait, 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 they actually, the shoulder armor does move. Does it move on this one? Yes, it does. Okay, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, though the elbows don't seem to do too much. And this one is stuck, it seems like. So this one is stuck on the bottom side. This one is stuck on the upper side. Oop. Oh, you can disarm him very easily. Okay, how about the hands? That hand pops off easily. Actually, ow. Okay, well, since the other one I have with the nunchucks, I am going to give him his spear. I will spear no expense. I uh, should have had, should have had like a boo thing going there. I guess I could add one in, but I don't know if I really want to. I just want to be lazy with this video and not do any editing on it outside of what I am. Okay, so that's one. Can I get this in there without breaking it? So one problem with two-handed weapons is sometimes you feel like, uh-oh, if I put this in here, am I gonna break the figure trying to get that spear in there? Maybe it's because I did that once before. I had a figure with a spear and I broke it trying to put it into the other hand. That was not a pleasant experience. Kind of sucked. All right. So yes. I will spear you if you follow my orders. I love it. It's pretty cool. Now this is interesting though, because the shades of brown or maroon are slightly different on these two. Slightly different. It's quite interesting. This one has a bit more red in it compared to this guy. And then last, the Enforcer. Now, for some, or not the Enforcer, that's the Enforcer, the Elite. Now, for some reason, I thought the Elite were like the, well, Elite Guard of Shredder, but apparently it's the Enforcers based on how it was in Return to New York because the Elite weren't even in that comic. All right, so we've got, ooh, only one plastic tray. But that's interesting. He's fully covered compared to the other ones who were just only covered on the weapons. 
All right, so we have another type of spear. Another dagger. A thingy. Only one pair of additional hands, gripping hands. He's not as handy as the others. Okay, yes, I'll stop. I've used that joke like, what, three times now? You're probably all giving me the finger. <laughs> Which, I'll hand it to you, that was a good one. <laughs> as you growl. All right, so we have our elite, who I have to say, they cannot stand for shit. I've even got my other elite on a NECA stand, and he still, actually even the regular foot ninja can't stand for shit. On a regular, on a NECA stand, and they're still falling over on my shelf. One shake, even on a stand. Even if he's secure. But yeah, the elite I thought were supposed to be like the top dogs of Shredder's guards, but nope. So all the articulation seems to work. I won't have to heat anything up. Yay. Actually, he's kind of, most of his body is just a reuse of the regular foot ninja, of the foot soldier. Except the colors are off again. Wow. That really is interesting. They're all the same one, but the shades are a bit different. And they're also even different on the Shredder clones I have compared to these guys. Which was kind of funny because also even these didn't match the Shredder because the regular Shredder was a blue color. These guys are kind of like a purple blue. Shredder was a dark blue. And then the Elite or the Enforcer that came out in these colors was like more blue. So they do not have any sense of consistency with the coloring. I don't get it. But anyway, okay. One cool thing though. His head turns, which he has a Shredder-like mask, but even his hat turns. Yo, babe, I'm Beetlejuice in disguise. La da 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 da. It's kind of cool. I wish it could come off though, so I can kind of do like, have like a Kung Lao where he just throws his hat. Maybe have that it's actually got like very sharp. All right, well, I've already used this on my other one. Come on. So I think I'm gonna use the dagger. Come on. Oh crap. There we go. Sometimes I hate taking hands out when you don't know how stable the peg is. I've had figures break on the peg. So he had this thing and this dagger. So I'm going to give him the dagger. Although maybe I should follow the box and have the dagger be in the left hand and he's a left-handed ninja. I don't know. Do ninjas have left hand? Or not do ninjas have left hands, but do they have lefty ninjas? Or were all ninjas righties? I did f do find it interesting the shading they have going on here. Because I'm sure you've all noticed the comic shading, which Hasbro, this is how you do shading correctly. Okay? Like this. Not like whatever the hell you were doing with your Spider-Man and X-Men animated lines. Like this. Now I'm curious. Can the head 
pop off. Can you actually turn these into regular ninjas if you wanted to? Because, well, I guess there is a difference. I guess actually because the arms are different because these have guards where these are just rags or bandages, whatever they called them. Otherwise, they are essentially the same figure. Which is why they suck at standing. I'm sorry, but these guys suck at standing. I wish there was some sort of better alternative beyond just using very big figure stands. Because when you are trying to fit a Detoff full of like 12 of these guys with Shredder and some clones, it gets very crowded. And so you don't have enough room to use figure stands the entire time. But whatever. This one is actually kind of interesting, the shading on there. Hmm, what how much pie do you like? I like this much pie. And this, I will lay back in here. All right. So, that is my TMT NECA Mirage comic unboxing video. I know it was a little bit probably slow moving and dry at times, but that's just how unboxing videos go, sadly. Kamen Rider Geats has shipped out. It's supposed to be here by Wednesday. Look forward to a Geats unboxing video. And then later today, Silver Quan Evan Nebula are going to be over. Hopefully, we're planning. Right now, the plan is to watch Boom Boom Jer. It'll be their first time seeing any episodes from the show. So we'll try to we're gonna record to get their thoughts on it. Otherwise, tell me, what do you think of this batch of figures? Who else would you like to see NECA release in the Mirage Comics line? I am totally looking forward to Rat King Leatherhead. And I think that's it. I mean, I, I do want Kirby, who also came out. But I don't know if I want to spend 35 on Kirby. And then if I get Kirby, I totally need to find a way to get that uh, Marvel Legends Stan Lee figure. So I can have a Kirby, Jack Kirby Stan Lee face-off. That'd be kind of cool. I just don't think I'm going to spend what, people, what Stan Lee, the Stan Lee figure costs these days. Because last time, if I recall, it was like $200, $300 for him. Because he never actually came out to stores. But yeah, who would you like to see NECA tackle next? I can say that really it's my desires are dwindling. I do hope for a brand new Shredder that also has Ab Crunch. And maybe he can, like, he, blah, 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 blah. he can be based on... The Return of New York version, who is slightly different from the first comic issue version. And then I want Karai and the uh, comics version of April. Because as much as cool as it is to have the anime version as my placeholder in there, I really want a comic version. I guess the question is, which header are they going to use for the comics version April? Because depending who drew it, she looked completely different because her... Issue one appearance or issue two appearance is different from her issue like 14 appearance, which is different from some of the tales of the Ninja Turtles appearances because one of those issues had April really, really looking not the same. So I'm curious to see what head they will give with April and who knows, maybe they can include all of them. But yeah, I am looking forward to making my bank account cry and Corellica cry. Now I just need to get a few more of these guys. I'm good with two on them. I kind of want four in total, but I'm kind of happy with two, especially because I don't know where I would put them all and I don't really have the money to buy, constantly buy them all, but whatever. So yes, that is all I have for this time. Click like, subscribe, the bell notification, whatever else YouTube class you're clicking on to support me. You can support me on Patreon and Twitter at Toku AAN Network. At, wow, Toku AAN Network. Which also I did create a Blue Sky account. 
So I am on Blue Sky if you end up deciding to come over there, which is the same Toku AAN network. And then I am at Facebook, Instagram, Discord, at Kaiju no Kami. And Twitch at some point for Toku AAN Network. All right, that's all I've got. Until next time, bye.